Hey guys, Chad Trofgerbin here. Today we are going to look at the magic wand tool in Photoshop. Now, in the past three tutorials, I've shown you the lasso tools, which allows you to select stuff in your photos. Well, the magic wand tool is just another way to do that. So let's go ahead and see exactly what it does. You will find the magic wand tool on the fourth slot down in your tool bar, and you might have to hold in your mouse button to select it because it does share that slot with the quick selection tool. So just go ahead and select that. Now, when you bring it up, you'll see that you have some options up here. And let me go through a few of these really quick. First is tolerance, and this is pretty important. Basically, the more tolerant something is, the more pixels it's going to pick up. So for instance, if you have many variations of blue, like I do on my picture, and I want to eliminate the sky, you probably would jack the tolerance up quite a bit to see exactly what it would do. So just to demonstrate this, let me bring the tolerance down to 10 really quick. And I'll go ahead and just select an area with my magic wand tool just by clicking. You'll see that it select, selects a tiny um, chunk of the sky. And it's selecting the blue pixels that are the same or similar to what I clicked on. Now, if I go ahead and I jack this up to 100 and I click, you'll see that it, it selects the entire sky because, again, the sky is very similar. It has very similar shades of blue. And so, again, it's going to select most of that, if not all of that. Now, if you have similar colors side by side, putting it up higher probably won't work as well because it probably will bleed into that area that you don't want to select. So there's something to play around with. This option right here basically allows you to either put one selection or multiple selections with the magic wand. So for instance, let me just go ahead and put my tolerance back to 10 to demonstrate this. And I'm going to hit Command D to get rid of my selection. Again, when you click with the magic wand with this option selected, it only puts in one selected area. Now, if we uncheck that and we click again, you'll see that we have multiple selections. We have a little one here, we have a big one up here, we have little tiny ones right here, and so on. So again, that's what that does. It's basically taking all the same colors or similar colors and then making multiple groupings as opposed to just doing one group at a time when it is checked. In sample all layers, basically allows you to use the magic wand on multiple layers if you have them on your photo. And right now I don't. But if you had, let's say, a layer of a tree or something here, and you had this checked, the magic wand would incorporate that tree as well when you're doing your selections. So anyway, let's go ahead and put our tolerance up to 100. And I'm simply going to click the sky here. And one more thing I want to show you, and this is for any type of selection tool, not just the magic wand. If you right click once you make a selection, you can go ahead and select Select Inverse. When you do this, you'll see that my sky is no longer selected. It actually selects the thing that was not selected, so it just inverses it. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command C to copy my ground and I'm going to go to another photo here and I'm simply going to hit command or control V to paste it and I'm going to take my selection tool here and just move this down like that and now I have a new sky and again it just basically took one click to select the entire sky and again different situations will call for different tools but this is just one instance where the magic wand does a pretty good job. So anyway, I could go through here and maybe make this darker, you know, with the sky and everything, but since I'm only doing a tutorial on the magic wand, I'll just leave it there for now. So with that, I hope you guys found this helpful. I have more tutorials coming soon, and I will see you guys then.